In today's video, we are selecting lambs to go to market. I'll show you the full process of bringing them in, deciding which ones are to go, and then at the end of this video, you'll see them sold through the ring and find out how much we sell our lambs for this week. As always, if you enjoy this video, please click the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. It helps the channel a ton, and I appreciate all support. Let's roll the intro. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game and we're back at sheep work again today, nothing dramatic, we're not down in Wales or over in Butte or doing any crazy things like that, it's general sheep work. I hope you're all well, we're in the Christmas spirit now I suppose, the songs are on the radio, we're all uplifted and excited, I hope you've all got your sheep game merch for Christmas, sorry parents I shouldn't do that, I shouldn't do that. Links there though. I've got a family to support. Apologies. Now, although it's general sheep work again today, it is something a little bit different. Look at this. Now this has been a field of rape that I've got the chance to graze and I've got some store lambs on here. I know nothing about grazing a forest crop such as this, but I have been advised that quite often once the leaves are eaten, the lambs will take a little check because they take a little bit longer to start eating the stalks although the stalks actually have more nutritional value than the leaves so it's a bit of a shame i didn't get a video of this in full bloom when it was all leaves here because it's really quite amazing you might be able to see the lambs in the background here you could hardly see them when it was all leaves they were just hidden in nibbling away great shelter i suppose as well it's a great dry bit here bring in you know there's no poaching nice dry hard ground hopefully their feet are holding up okay although I see one limping right there. But the big benefit with these lambs here, the bit I'm really pleased with is the fact that we show these lambs. So they're very clean. And I checked these a few days ago and there's a couple that aren't shown and it'll be great. I'll try and show you an example of the difference between an unshown lamb and a shown lamb on a crop like this. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all. Why doing? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. We see, see, see. We all the commands when I'm working the dogs, all the commands go to Meg and Sky just kicking her man's up like that there. She knows not to let anything pass. Lie down, hey. Size of that thing. I thought that was a yow there. Hello, Meg. Couple of lambs probably need another wee doze here. Come by. I didn't. I'll do this guy, come by. I'll do Meg, come by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, shh. Don't get silly. I'll do. Hey, don't hey. Let them stand for a minute or they'll just start going in circles. Lie down. I'll do Meg. We. Oh, lambs. Oh, I've done this and I'm nothing to tie the gate. Cammy. Oh. Oh. Because I want to spend my time with you. Just the two of us. Let's have a look at the lambs. You and I. I'm not, I'm not a singer. I'm not a singer. Okay, here we are. So, all right, we had so much rain yesterday, it's maybe cleaned them up a little bit, but unshown lamb, shown lamb, shown lamb. Bad example. I think they had so much rain, it's actually made them look a lot cleaner. I thought they looked a lot dirtier last time I saw them. Maybe I was wrong. Let's just nab a race full here. Lie down. There we go. Now, I've no scales here, and in fairness, it's not that easy weighing them where I'm set up on a slope and getting accurate weights, but the way that the sheep trade is in Scotland just now, and the UK in general, and Ireland and most of Europe, I'm sure, is that fleshy lambs sell well, even if they're only 36 kilos, they'll still be near the 100 pounds mark. I'm just gonna go along them, put my hand on them, and I'm gonna shed out any lambs we want to take away, and hopefully Lizzie is gonna come with the trailer 
and we'll get them home. Here's my setup, couple of gates here, lambs run up, lambs I want this way, lambs I don't want that way. Let's try it. Right, lambies. Too wee, big, big, not big but fat. Have to be realistic with some of these lambs, they are out of a, ch a Cheviot Yew, um, most of them are out of a Shetland Yew, a Shetland Yew, so you have to be realistic in terms of the size they're ever going to be, if they're fat, you know, if they're fit, in good condition, and a reasonable size, then very much think it's a case of cut the stick when you see it. Look, that's a fat lamb, not very big, not going to weigh much. I'll leave it though, it's just, okay, I think we, that's one example I think we could get a bit more size on it. It definitely throws your eye off as well a little bit for me because these lambs are all shown they look lighter than they probably are you know they look smaller because lambs at this time of year if I use this as an example you know that lamb has a lot of wool on it if I get my finger in there somewhere like but the length, there's a bit of length of my finger there so that's close to 10 inches of, of wool <laughs> that's enough Let's just skip to my final pen of lambs for the market. Okay, so the lambs are drawn just like that. Here they are here. Some of them not very big, but you know, as I said, they're out of Cheviot ewes, uh, Shetland ewes rather. So we need to be realistic. You got to look at the actual batch that we've taken them out of there and I've showed you that interesting little bit of rape we have over there. Something very different for me. Really impressed with how the lambs have fleshed up. But we'll get them loaded up now and get them to the market. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the market vlog. Try and split this up a little bit and make the editing easier. The market vlog, taking these to market, is going to be our next video. Totally separate. So we'll see you for that one. I've ever been. Aye, aye, just have a
So I didn't actually film an ending for this video on the day because when I sell my lambs through the winter I'm also busy crutching, shearing the lambs out the back so it's all hectic but we've got to see them sold there, unbelievable price, like hands down those, in terms of pence per kilo, those are probably the most expensive lambs I've ever sold and it was a fantastic week, really chuffed, really really chuffed. I do think a massive benefit there was the fact that we show those lambs so they nice tight skins and you actually saw the other lambs that were unshorn off the same bit same kind of fleshiness were the cheapest lambs that went through the ring so another big plus for shearing your lambs folks especially if there's something like Shetland crosses that are going to grow a long fleece woolly head makes them look much tidier much more like texels so I'm really chuffed for that I hope you've enjoyed this video as I said please click that subscribe button we appreciate all the support and we'll see you for the next one sheep fans